is a word sum um, with the geometric series. I've put the whole question up already because um, it's, a, it's a relatively straightforward one. It is from an IB paper from 2013, which is in the public domain. It's relatively straightforward and it's one of those ones where I feel like one can deal with the whole question in one go, but I'm still going to annotate. Okay, so the number of members of a new social networking site doubles every day. So immediately I know it's geometric, okay? Um, and that's something I would I would go so far as to say that's content knowledge. Like you need to know stuff like that. You need to be comfortable with the fact that you can, in your own mind, do some little tricks before you even approach a question. Take that straight away. So it doubles every day. So I know I have a geometric series or sequence. On day one, there's 27. Day two, there's 54. Okay, that's really easily translated as T1, um, which is also A, is 27. And then T2 is going to be 54. Okay, they didn't even need to give that to me because they could have just given me 27. Calculate the number of members there were on day 12. The second question says the site earns half a cent per member per day. Calculate the amount of money the site earned in the first 12 days to the nearest rand. Okay, so TN or SN? SN would involve adding stuff up. They just want the number of members, not like the total members on any particular time. It was just the number on that day. I is quite specific. It's just the number of members on, on that day. So obviously it does increase over time. Um, and your sum actually would be the same as the term number because the sum of all the members, you keep on adding more members. So it's an interesting concept, you know, if you think about it being a real life example. So, okay, um, I want the number of members on day 12. So what I want is, I want to know what is T12. Okay, so um, I want the value. All right, so I want the value at T12. Okay, so um, do I have A? Do I have R? I'm going to need to get that over there. Um, my A is 27. Let's just do a quick calculation. Um T2 over T1 is 54 over 27, which is 2. I could have gotten that from the word doubles. Uh, where is it there? Doubles anyway. So R is 2. I'm going to go straight into the calculation. I'm going to say, well, T12 is going to be A, which is 27, R, which is 2, to the N minus 1. N is 12, so N minus 1 is 11. And I can sub that straight away in. Okay, so putting that into the calculator, I get 55,296 members. The question talks about money. The site earns half a cent per member per day. So, okay, this is obviously going to add up because if one member is on the site on day one and the same members on day two, then that member will have gathered a half a cent plus a half a cent, so a cent. Okay, so this is now going to be summing. Half a cent per member per day. Calculate the amount of money that the site earned in the first 12 days. So we still got 12 to the nearest rand. And a really good exam technique is if you find yourself doing the same thing in two different questions, you've definitely done one of them incorrectly. So if you start thinking this is T12, you've got a problem, okay? Because you've just done T12. So it's scaffolding the question quite nicely. So what I've got to do now is I've actually got to get S12. All right, so S12... Do I have all the things I need? Do I have A and R and N? I do have A and R. It's going to be the same. And N is now 12. So I'm going to have my A, which is 27. My R is 2. So it's going to be 2. My N is 12. Minus 1. Over 2 minus 1. Um, plug and play into calculator. And I'm going to end up with 1, 1, 0. Five, six, five. What have I just worked out? Um, that's actually the sum of the number of half cents that I've gathered. Okay, so if you added up all the, the half cents per day, you'd get that. So that's fine. It's just the one last little trick is I would need to divide that by two. So I'd need to take that number. I've... 6, 5, and I need to divide it by 2 to get me to the number of cents. Okay, so I've now got 55, 2, 
0.83 cents and then to get that into rands I'd have to divide by um, 100 so it's so it is 552 rand 83 so 553 rand